my dear sons and daughters in the Lord, it is a message, Ramashinde, that will lift you up to a position that will dazzle the world. Amen. Somebody shout a thunderous amen. Amen. Now, the topic of this message is go out of your comfort zone. God called Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. And Abraham answered, Remember, he knows your name. <laughs> Abraham, Abraham. And Abraham answered. And God says, What? Go out of your father's house. Leave this place to the land I will show you. Leave your acquaintances. Leave your friends. Leave this house. Leave this comfort zone to the land I will show you. And another message came there from I will make your name great. I will make of thee a great nation. But first of all, you must leave your comfort zone. Let me tell everybody here. Champions are made in the desert. Am I communicating at all? I hear you. Champions are made in the desert. My dear sons and daughters in the Lord. Champions are made in the desert. If you want to be a champion and you are not ready to leave your comfort zone, you are deceiving yourself. Champions are not made in the comfort zone. That's why God told Abraham, I want to bless you, but this place is affecting your blessing. This location is affecting your blessing. My children, Rabbi Shindiria, your venue determines your revenue. I am telling you, at this particular point in time, there is a location you are occupying in the realm of the spirit. And that position you are occupying determines the type of favor you will receive. Your position determines the type of favor that will come your way. At this particular point in time, you are putting on a garment in the realm of the spirit. Remember that the spiritual controls the physical. As you are hearing my voice today, I don't know where you are in the realm of the spirit. I don't know your position, your location in the realm of the spirit. I repeat again, your venue determines your revenue. Now God said to Abraham, I will make you a great nation. He, but first of all, you must leave your comfort zone. Child of God, in the revolution, the river, God has destined greatness for you, but your problem is what? The inability to let go of certain things. I repeat again, champions are made in the desert. They are not made in their comfort zone. Are you not surprised? When our brother John the Baptist left the comfort of the palace and John became a desert prophet, for John to realize his dream, he had the passion that led him into the wilderness. What was his food? Locusts and honey. What was his clothes? Camel skin. But from the desert, John the Baptist was releasing power. To the extent that people living in the skyscrapers, people living in the mansion, they were not comfortable with a man living in the wilderness. My children, in the river, in the river, champions are not made in the place of comfort. If you want to be a champion and you despise the heat of the desert, you are wasting your time. I am telling you, Nobody is born a champion. Instead, champions are made. For in Christ Jesus, all of us are champions. You are born great, take it from me. But you are the one in the Rebushinda that will fan that seed of greatness into flame. If you fail to fan it into flame, you will die a liability. I don't know your life attitude. Your life attitude is your destiny altitude very very important abraham leave your comfort zone child of god flesh has nothing to offer if you want to be a great man a legend you must learn how to deal with the cravings of the flesh flesh has nothing to offer in the no one that the scripture says that those who are in the flesh can never please god they said what well, they can never please God because flesh will always tell to what to pleasure and the laziness flesh will always tell to food and when you are told 
when someone is told you must fast and he begin by giving excuses you know i have also i can't fast then that person is already destroyed that person has turned himself into satan's food oh my god children of god will triumph when we mortify our flesh we triumph when we go extra mile to draw the heart and the attention of god to our situation go out of your comfort zone and the god is calling us to leave our comfort zone let me tell you hannah had been enjoying meat every year every year the husband elkanah after the ceremonial cleansing sacrifice elkanah will share the booty meat between penina and elkanah amen and amen, amen. and uh, that goes with consolation elkanah will say to penina my wife enjoy god's time is the best eat your meat god's time is the best let me tell somebody here most often you are the one that will enforce your prophecy in order to shorten your prophetic distance take it from father Bonso. the easiest way to shorten your prophetic distance to enforce your prophecy is through fasting and prayer in the label uk when you go extra mile in the lord when you start behaving like a madman in prayer in the rebel praying and fasting downloading prophecies at random that is when you see the manifestation of your prophecies am i talking to somebody here i hear you someone power 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 oh god is calling us to leave our comfort zone now the very day hannah said i am tired of this eating and drinking i will no longer eat meat for a reproach has fallen on me enough is enough i will no longer eat i will not drink today i must encounter my god in shiloh that was when hannah started fasting in the revolution day he was able to let go and let god I carry up a shindiri of a macar. This this woman Hannah, la masheke tebo she. He he she was able to let go and let God. She started fasting. She started mortifying herself. She stormed the sanctuary of Shiloh and prayed to God, Lord. Oh, I need my own baby today. My own. My case is urgent. Enough is enough, Lord. I need your intervention in my situation. Do not let the world call me a barren woman. Hannah was crying before the sanctuary of the Lord uncontrollably. I am telling everybody here, take your tears to God. Because most often, for God to give you your breakthrough, for God to give you favor, He must take your tears. And the rebel UK, I thank God for you, my children. I thank God for you, my sons and daughters here. Let me tell you, Uribo Yekerebo Shenderi Abamaka. You are decided to stretch out for God to intervene in your situation. Wait, and you will see the manifestation of the mercy of God over your life. Amen and amen. Amen. Yeah. Sleep is very, very good and pleasurable. Sleeping at night from night to morning, it is comfort. But when you decide to leave that comfort zone, wait for shocking miracle. Hinda la Baba Shinda. Now, the very year Hannah said, I will not drink, I will not eat. That was the year the yoke of barrenness was eroded. And prophecy followed suit. Hey, a woman who was barren, a woman who was once an object of mockery and caricature, became a mother of seven. Listen, my children, every predicament has an expiring date but you are the one that will enforce that prophecy for your predicament to expire it is your attitude that you bring to an end your predicament i don't know your own predicament today leave your comfort zone you will watch and see that predicament coming to an end had it been that hannah did not storm the sanctuary of shiloh children couldn't have come hannah may have been in the waiting list at infinitum just like some of us here prophecy is coming your way tonight my god will 
show up for you because you have your faith and commitment to this altar. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the son of man for him before embarking on his ministerial assignment he left the comfort of the palace. He left his comfort zone and stormed the desert for how many days? 40 days and 40 night he was in the desert praying oh my god 40 days and 40 night for his ministry to be successful my children i don't know what you are passing through you have your own assignment do you get that assignment with fasting and prayer are you a married woman are you a married man your home is your assignment do you guide your home jealously your business is your pastoral is your own assignment do you guide your business with fasting and prayer your office your occupation your aspirations do you guide them with fasting and prayer you are beginning a project do you guide it with fasting and prayer child of god the secret of success in the Liyama machine the Liyama car is your ability to stand strong on the power of Yahweh Sabaoth by getting God involved in your situation. Amen and amen. Amen. Let me tell everybody here with God, all things are possible. I want you to be a radical faith believer, my children. Where you are today is not your final destination. Where you are today is not the end of the road. Where there is an end, there is a bend. Leave your comfort zone. St. Paul made it open in his letter to the Galatians chapter 5 of two tensions in our body. The flesh and the spirit are a constant battle. The cravings of the flesh, the cravings of the flesh and the, the drive of the spirit. Now the cravings of the flesh is destructive. We arise, life in the spirit is the life that attracts God's favor. The word of God says, to be carnally minded is dead. Romans 8.8 8, And to be spiritually minded is life. In Romans 8 says, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. And the word of God said in Romans 8 verse 14, those who are led by the spirit are called sons of God. Leave your comfort zone. You cannot operate in the spirit in your comfort zone. Am I complicated here? You. you cannot operate in the spirit. Even prophecy of God cannot flow in your comfort zone. Take it from me. Lama There must be a spiritual ambience of prayer. There must be a spiritual ambience, ambience that will make the prophecy of God to flow to travel. I remember the time Elisha said, I cannot prophesy. Right now, I am handicapped. And people were telling Elisha, please help us. Our enemies have surrounded us. They want to devour us like a, like a lion. Elisha said, I have a problem now. I cannot prophesy in this environment. This environment is a foul environment. Prophecy cannot travel. And Elisha said, can you get me a damsel? Someone who can play on the musical instrument. Someone who can play the violin. Someone who can play on the guitar. Let that person praise my God. So that the atmosphere will be spiritualized. My sons and daughters here. You can never excel in a foul environment. The hand of God can never hold you fast in a foul environment. That atmosphere, that environment must be spiritualized. What am I trying to say? Champions are made in the desert. Therefore, leave your comfort zone. Am I prophesying here? Look at what happened to our brother Esther and the Mordecai. I love this little girl, Esther. When Mordecai approached Esther, that was when there was a death sentence over them. Mordecai approached Esther. In the book of Esther and said to her my daughter because it was Mordecai that raised Esther oh my god and by providence and God's favor Esther became a queen 
because she was a woman of the desert. He may ascend a woman of prayer, someone who knows how to fast. So when the enemies of the Jews raised a standard against them, Mordecai went to Esther, my daughter. God has raised you up to this position because of what we are passing through now. Please go and plead on our behalf. Go and plead with your husband to spare our life. Look at the death sentence. And the letter has been has been circulated throughout the whole provinces, 252 provinces. Please, you are our hope. And Esther said, Oh, it's a difficult task, but no problem. Tell the Jews, let them pray for me and they fast. Three days, no food, no water. After which I will go and see the king, contrary to the law. If I perish, let me perish. The altar of prayer was activated. The altar of fasting was activated. The message says, go and tell all the Jews. Let nobody cook food. Let nobody eat. Ay, ay, ay. I said three days compulsory dry fasting. Esther said, let them pray for me. Three days. No food, no water. After which I will go and see the king contrary to the law. If I perish, let me perish. After the fasting and prayer. Oh, when Esther went to the king's court against the law of the land instead of death sentence instead of esther you know to be killed the king as soon as he set his eyes on her the king stood up and said to her oh my queen you are here what do you want me to do for you there was an existing law that a queen will never visit the king except on invitation once you receive the signet ring the assignment of the chief slave is to, you know, the king, Chamberlain, is to send the signet ring to the queen. Now, the, the man that, that handles such position has to undergo serious castration. That's why they are very, very, they are very, very tall and the huge. For that position to be allotted to you, they will castrate you. So when the king is one the king, he will send the signet ring and that's where we take the ring to the king's court, uh, 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 you know, court to, the, to, to the queen's court. Are you not surprised that no invitation was given? Are you not surprised no signet ring received? But Esther went to the king's palace contrary to the law. My sons and daughters here. Hey, your destiny is in your hand. Your destiny is on the hand of any man. Rise up and activate the presence of God. You are destiny is in the hand of God. You are the one that will enforce your prophecy. I prophesy to somebody here. This generation will celebrate you. Amen. I prophesy. I this generation will celebrate your children. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. My children, nothing is too difficult if you only you can pray and they fast. Leave your comfort zone, my children. Leave your comfort zone. Isaiah 48, the word of God said, Come out from Babylon. Stop living Babylonian lifestyle. If you want to wield influence, if you want to be a commander, child of God, go out of your comfort zone. Just like John the Baptist, he was a commander in being, you know, staying in the desert and commanding men and women of substance. Sending signal to the city. For the most of we say that life does not bow to comedians. It bows to commander. For you to be a commander, you must be a man of the desert. Am I communicating here? I hear you. Because the spiritual controls the physical. The word of God says in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 and 4. It is true that we walk in the flesh, but we do not walk in the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty, capable of pulling down stronghold and casting slot to any negative power that raises itself against the glory of the Almighty God. My children all over the world, I want to tell you, God in His infinite mercy will not allow you to be humiliated, but you are the one.
that will say this is what i want man is a product of his thoughts i don't know your thought i don't know your vision in life i don't know your mission but always remember inside your mission is your provision go out of your comfort zone i want you to change your circle i want you to avoid beer parlor encounter i want you to avoid brothel encounter hotel encounter i want you to be more dedicated to god avoid being loquacious and that is in zion miracles are for those who persist if you don't stretch out you can have it i want you to let go of certain phone numbers i want you to block some people off because oh the dominion of satan is over it is time for you to turn a new leaf prophet of god is prophesying greatness over your life you cannot be great until you become a man of the desert god told abraham i will make you great but you have to leave this place i will make you number one i will make you a symbol of blessing to your generation oh my god somebody shout i claim it i claim it I claim somebody it, shout I claim, I claim it i claim it i, claim it. I, claim it. I, claim I will it. make you a blessing to a generation mm -hmm. you will be a symbol of blessing mm -hmm. kings will come out of you but you must be a woman of the desert a man of the desert people like queen esther esther did not eat also esther fasted three days my dear sons and daughters in the lord may you be decorated out of your because of your dedication to the altar of fire may you be favored in the mighty name of jesus christ amen